thing I want to talk about today, right? This is for all the truck drivers out there, because you know I'm a trucker. For everybody that follows me on YouTube, um, <clears throat> if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, right? One thing I want to talk about is that no matter what you decide, no matter what career you decide to do in life, make sure you have something to fall back on. Make sure you diversify your um, talent when it comes to making money. Get what I'm saying? Um, make sure you always have a backup plan. Make sure you're always doing something on the side to make money. Get what I'm saying? Make sure you have other talents. Make sure you have other skills. Don't put all your eggs in one basket because you're going to get fucked up. You're going to get screwed. When everything is screwed up, you're going to be screwed up. Right? Um, you got you to gotta be flexible. You got to know how to make changes. Um, <clears throat> you got to be able to take some when it when 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 the hit, shit hit the roof you got to be able to um know how to adjust you get what i'm saying if you can't eat rice and steak you got to know how to adjust to eat rice and corned beef you get what i'm saying because not every day is going to be pretty you might not have cooking oil you got to know how to cook with butter you got to know how to melt that butter and turn it into oil you get what i'm saying um it's not every day we're going to be able to um, to eat right, right? It's not every day we're going to be able to get the things that we want, get the things that we need. So in life, you got to be able to adjust. Get what I'm saying? And that's one of my strengths in life. I've always been flexible, right? I've always find other ways, other means of making money. And I'm not even making a joke. This, it ain't even funny. Like, I always find other ways to make money right and um i'm never gonna stop and i'm never gonna quit monday i start real estate school man and i'm taking it serious right and i'm not going into real estate to 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 be oh i just want to make some money on the side no i'm going into real estate to make money i want to make six figures you get what i'm saying and i'm not quitting trucking i'm still gonna be trucking i am be trucking in real estate you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to do other things. I'm always going to do other things. I'm always going to do things. Right? So, you got 24 hours in a, in a day, people. It should be no excuses to diversify your life. Because you never know when you're going to get fired. You never know when you're going to get laid off. You never know when the company don't want you no more. You never know when the company want to move in a different direction. Get what I'm saying? Um, so you always got to <clears throat> be a step ahead of the game. You get what I'm saying? Um, and that's the message I want to um, send out to all the truck drivers today, man. Um, that's why it's, so, it's such a blessing to be a local trucker. Because you have the ability to do other things. And this is something that a lot of people don't understand. You get what I'm saying? It's not much that you can do. When you stop driving, you're just laying in the back of a sleeper. Just looking up on the top of the roof. There's not much you can do, right? <clears throat> I'm going to be honest with you. I got a friend right now. He's a truck driver, right? This man is making over $600 a week doing Instacart. I kid you not. I kid you not. He's doing over $600 a week Instacart. When things got slow, he didn't put his head down and cry. No, he went out there and try. And he's making it. He's getting it. He's figuring out a way. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to be honest with you. He inspired me to keep on pushing. Get what I'm saying? So, um, as long as you have the ability, the capability, and you're not like... You know, there's so many people out there, man. They got a social security card. And they just want to sit in the couch and um they don't want to go out there and look for a job. You know what I'm saying? They just want to sit back, kick back, and have their hands out um, ready for somebody else to take care of them. You know what I mean? Um, sometimes people going to stop. People going to get tired of taking care of you. You know what I mean? After a while, all that stuff get old. You know? Like that hand-to-mouth stuff don't work, man. You got to get out there. Um, young ladies, um... 
once you guys think you're old enough to open up your legs and and and, and think you're grown to make babies guess what you got to go out there and you got to work you got to provide for your baby and your family even though even a young man's too y'all decide y'all want to be a grown-up and y'all want to go out there and have kids and stuff like that you got to be responsible go take care of your kids go get a job don't bring the kids home to your parents you know what I'm saying? They already took care of you. You can't. You cannot expect your parents to take care of your kids. You get what I'm saying? So what I'm trying to say is everybody need to be responsible, man. And stop crying when things don't go you go your way. Stop crying when you lose a job. There's many other jobs out there. You know what I'm saying? Stop crying only because you only have one skill. That's your fault for not diversify your um ability to do other things in life you get what i'm saying that's one of my strength right there so that's just a little message i got for all the truck drivers that's up in here everybody that's up in here follow me ganaka um appreciate you for coming up in here shout out to all the nurses um you know i got a lot of nurses um sisters that are nurses um cousins aunties a lot of nurses in my family man and um Yesterday, I was talking to my sister, and I was talking to some of my cousins about what's going on in the hospital, and they say things are getting better, but um, they say when things is bad, it's bad, man, so, you know, shout out to all the nurses that's going through it, you know what I mean, so, that's pretty much all I wanted to, that, that's, a, that's a message I wanted to share with everybody today, you know what I'm saying, um, we got eight people in the building, I want to hear from